Fuzzy Mizu versus Nobi Song. I mean, if Fuzzy Mizu wins this grand final, damn, this guy mic drops everybody's hand. Fuzzy Mizu does the mic drop on everyone's hand. I love that. He does the mic drop every time. Get that fucking hand out of here. I like that. All right, Fuzzy Mizu versus Nobi San. As I was saying, if if Fuzzy Mizu wins this one, that will be super impressive. I don't know what their record is, but I don't think it's very good for Fuzzy Mizu. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Hurry up. Oh god, the costume. It's terrible. I like this one so much more. Sunset Riders. Just give him a cowboy hat. Maybe the cowboy hat doesn't look good. Or you gotta have the hair out. Oh my god, isn't that how Nobi started another round earlier? What is up with these random... That was a no respect fucking delayed hop kick. He just did a delayed hop kick. Let me just do it. Whatever. I'll, it'll hit, and if it doesn't hit, I'll deal with it. <gasps> nice sidestep. Oh, man, if that had hit, that would have been crazy. It was an accident, obviously, right? I don't know, maybe not, but that was crazy. <laughs> it looked like it was going to hit, too. Nice clutch sidestep. Man, that would have... Oh, wow. Blue running, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind that. I liked it. Ooh, man, this game is sick. This game is easy on the eyes, right? Nice cooch and teats. This game is easy on the eyes. I like it. I think this is definitely, easily, the most spectator-friendly Tekken ever. The most fun to watch. And I think it's probably one of the most fun to watch fighting games ever, too. I mean, I'm obviously biased because I like watching Tekken. But from what I hear from total noobs, they like watching uh, this game, too. Total fighting game noobs. Just, it's a watchable fighting game. It looks good. Boom, boom, corkscrew, running two, boom, big damage. I gotta start doing that. I gotta start doing that. Back one plus two. That's good shit. Oh, weird. Running two. Whiff, where's the whiff punish? You didn't expect it would whiff. There's a whiff punish. Good block. No duck. This guy, Fuzzy Mizu. I know for a fact that he can crouch under the second hit of back four, three, uh, and delayed hop kick punish, because he's done it to me. <laughs> so he's super good. I mean, he does it very frequently. Oh my god, he missed it! <gasps> Is he going to lose this round? Wow, what a fucking block and what a low parry. Let's see that whole sequence again. Look at this shithead. He knows he fucking stole that one. Let's see this whole sequence. He hit the juggle. Did he get lazy on the combo? He didn't dash far enough. That's crazy. Nice low parry. Oh man, what a fucking blow up. Look at that grin. Alright, that was a good round for Fuzzy Mizu, but maybe nobody's going to be like, you know what, you know you didn't deserve that. Fuck you. Yeah, it's not looking good. I had a feeling that's what Nobi was going to do. Like, fuck you. You know you didn't deserve that shit. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. See, we don't know We don't know this history. I know these guys have some kind of rivalry with each other. They've, they've played each other, training partners, for the last seven years. <laughs> this guy's going to be killing the cameraman. Let's fucking move forward here. Uh-oh. Twitch fonts. Uh, while standing three. Wow, he ducked under it, but no punish. Ouch. That's guaranteed, I think. Uh, counter hit sidestep three back one two. That's a counter hit combo. <sighs> that death fist looked like it went right up to his chest. Man, that looked so close. I can't believe it wasn't even blocked. It just whiffed like between his arms. I want to see that again. 
The death fist he just did there. Did I pass it already? I think I passed it already. That one. Wow, look at that death fist. It like went between his arms. And it didn't get blocked. That is crazy that that didn't get blocked. Look at that death fist. Holy cow. That was a whiff. That wasn't a whiff though. Jesus. Huh. Fucking lag. Second hit. See, right there it would have been a bound back in the day, but that's a nerf. Running two nerf for sure. Almost. I was looking carefully to see how he wall carried there. It was supposed to hit because Novi backdashed. You can block while you backdash in this game. I don't know if you're aware of that, but in this game, if you backdash, you can block during the entire duration of the black, the black dash, the back dash, in the whole duration. So if you're not blocking while you're backdashing, you're fucking up. That's what I'm telling you. You're doing it wrong. You can backdash and block in this game at the same time, in all Tekken games. Black dash. Man, what a read. This is a blow-up. He's kicking the shit out of Fuzzy Mizu. Easily. Look at this. Nice sidestep. Wow. Oh, man. This guy just made my life hella easier. So you don't have to do instant while standing four off of this anymore. In fact, this is probably better. Because you do heavier hits. That is great. Earlier in the combo, you do heavier hits. I'm copying that. Up forward four, down two, wall standing four, back one two. I mean, I already knew about the down two, wall standing four, back one two, but I never thought that that was going to work near the wall. But it hella would work. That's sick. See what I mean? Dragonov got so many buffs. So what is this, three out of five? That was two, right? Get the camera out of my face, bitch. He's not going to look at the camera again. <laughs> oh, showed me. You could tell he's not in love with that cameraman. I don't blame him. Especially when you're getting your ass kicked like that. So I guess this is three out of five. It's too bad there's no solution to having the game audio without the commentary. All right. Three out of five. Grand finals. This is a blowout, though. I mean, if Fuzzy Mizu brings it back, he's a hero. But there's no way, right? I mean, there's no way. I'll eat my hat. If Fuzzy Mizu wins this tournament, I'll eat my Tekken hat. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to win or not. So, basically, the three players that made it are you, Fuzzy Mizu, and Nobi, right? You, Fuzzy Mizu, and Nobi are the three global championship qualifiers for Tokyo. And Take did not make it, right, of the top four. And Al did not make it of the top five. I think that's about right. Talking made it? No, you won, didn't he? Talking made it? You just lost. Oh, I forgot already. So Take is the top three. Am I right? Oh yeah, you lost. Boy, I got I got the memory of a shark. So Take made it in. That makes sense. I mean, you's good too, though. 
How can I beat you? Man, that move is cheap. But he's not going to win. Oh, man. If Nobi makes this comeback, that won't be good. Ugh, the Okazumi. Get that shit out of here. Fuzzy Mizu. Get him. Get him, Fuzz. Nice hop kick. That was beautiful. Okay. Shoulder. Nice damage. Okazumi. Nope. We went back and played Tekken 5 DR when Mateo was here. And, man, it was so different. Wake up kicks are all launch punishable in that game. And they don't do shit. They don't give you juggles on counter hit or anything. I mean, I guess some of them do. But it really was a shocker. Yeah, that was a... Grand Finals were a snooze on that one. I don't think uh, uh, anyone, including Fuzzy Mizu, thought that he was going to win that one. Nice job, loser. Anyway, congrats. That was a really uh, impressive... The thing that's impressive to me about the top five... So let's look at the top five. It was uh, Al. It was Nobi. It was Take. You. No respect you. And... Um, who the fuck's the last guy? Fuzzy Mizu, right? So that's top five. If you look at all three, all five, <laughs> if you look at all three of those top five, man, I'm losing it. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. If you look at all five of those guys, every one of them, they're like grandmaster players. They've been playing for like 10 years. They're all super good, except for Al. Al, I played him in 2010 and he was hella good. And at that time he had been playing for like three or four years. So I guess he's almost grandmaster level as well. All these guys are super, super good. And this was a single elimination bracket with over 200 players in it. So for all these Grandmaster players to make it through a single elim bracket, which most people say is kind of random, right? That, te that says a lot about the game. The game itself, Tekken 7, I think is going to be a lot less random than something like Tekken Tag 2. And I think that the players that shine at Tekken 7 will be the more familiar faces, which is refreshing. You want to see the best Tekken players succeed in Tekken. It just, to me, shows it's a sign of a good sequel. That's what I see. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I see when I watch these games. OFDP, long time no see, amigo. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Hoping to see a lot more of you when the game comes out. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time upstate new york if i don't if i recall correctly man i'm gonna be sitting next to these clowns dude last time they had the headsets like this i hope they don't do that again this time why do they do that you can't have a headset that has a mic attached to it can i bring one uh i need to call mark man if they're not gonna have a headset with a mic attached to it i need to bring one because this is that's what they did last year what the hell is this I gotta wear a fucking one-man band outfit. I gotta have cymbals between my knees and a bass drum on my back and a harmonica and, and all this shit. What the fuck is that thing? You know? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, 